Hey guys, how you doing? And welcome to another edition for our midweek. Uh, we're coming to a close here very shortly on the I Am series. And uh, this midweek session is entitled, I Am the True Vine. And, and we'll be examining John uh, chapter 15 here in this particular uh, midweek session. And this is a great one. Uh, you can have a little fun with it and bring in maybe three or four different types of branches. One that's dead and uh, one that has fruit on it and, and maybe a semi-healthy branch. And, and just to more uh, illuminate this concept of remaining in the vine, which will be a great one. And our main text will be John chapter 15, verses 1 through 15. And uh, you, you know the text, read the text, be confident about the text, but it's a great text. And there are a few points. The first point that we really want to hit is fruit and fun. That basically here with this particular point, and there's a lot of notes uh, supporting this point, but what you really want to convey is simply that there's no other life to live but a fruitful life. And living a fruitful life is a fun life. It, it's exciting. It, it brings uh, joy to the heart. And we're going to talk about uh, how to live a fruit-filled life that is fun. And, and we'll talk about the branches and the vine and things of that nature. And that the bottom line, to live a fruitful, fun life, we need to bear fruit. And there are a few different areas to bear fruit. One is obviously a fruit of the Spirit in our own personal character and growth. There's also fruit in obviously seeing others come to Christ and know Jesus as we know Jesus. But there's also fruit when God blesses us with material gain and we likewise bless others in the same way. But there are many different ways to bear fruit and we're going to talk about that in this first point entitled Fruit and Fun. The second point we're going to make is the foundation then of fruit. You know, well, what's the foundation of fruit? The bottom line is we will not bear fruit of any kind, that's what the text says, unless we abide in Christ. And here you really want to go after just this concept of going after God and in the Bible. Really that our own personal discipline in pursuing God in prayer and Bible study is really enriching that vine that we are so that we can stay connected to the vine and bearing fruit. Because there is no fruit to bear if we're not connected to God. And we'll talk about many different ways there uh, to remain connected. The pruning and what that all entails and how God prunes us and, uh, uh, and what that means and how that through pruning God is going to bless our lives. And if we're not about that, if we don't have the discipline to remain in the vine, to be pruned, then we will bear no fruit. And one of the analogies we'll talk about is marriage in that. Because marriage is a great one. If you get married, just because you have legally become married doesn't mean that you'll have a great relationship but it takes energy it takes effort it means you gotta talk you're praying together you're walking together you're growing and maturing together likewise it's a marriage in our relationship with Christ we gotta walk together we gotta talk together we've got to become one in our relationship with Christ the third point that we're gonna talk about is faith love and obedience leads to true fruit you know if we're faithful and loving and obedient unto Christ, guess what? It's going to lead to true fruit. We are saved by God's grace. But God says in Ephesians chapter 2 that He saved us, that we will now go and do the work of God. And we're going to talk a bit about that and talk about the faith that is necessary to do that. But the love for God that enables us to what? Be obedient. This is key that, yes, God has saved us through His mercy, but God expects us to be obedient and fruitful servants of God. And we'll go through that. We'll talk about motivation. We'll talk about a number of different things there in that concept uh, that will really help us uh, with regards to being faithful, loving, and obedient unto God. And our final point uh, is, fo is our focus. What should we be focused on? We shouldn't be focused on the fruit. We should be focused on the Father and the Son. You see, when we focus on God and His Son, God takes care of the rest. You know, guys, this is a great lesson, and I know that uh, you get a lot of material on our midweeks. The goal here is not to get through all the material, but to better equip you with great biblical foundations so that you can do a good job in understanding what your group needs, what's going on in your group, and helping your group to get the best out of what we're trying to accomplish. And that may mean that you don't go through this whole lesson. But there are a couple of points here that you really see, man, this is really prevalent for my group. And I want to really hit this within my group. And so make that 
the main point for your for your evening. And if you only hit one or two points, that's okay. As long as you really, as a good shepherd, are looking at the needs of God's people in your group and you're meeting that need. Listen, God is doing great things. I love you. Keep faithful in what you're doing and God will continue to bless us and continue to grow his church. Thank you and have an incredible day.